This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. Straight up. Happy Sunday. I'm Noheilani Graf with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona. First one, a two-year-old girl is in critical condition after being pulled from a pool in Ahwatukee last night. When crews arrived on scene, they found family members administering CPR to the child. That little girl was then transported to the hospital in extremely critical condition. Child's family says they were missing for a couple of minutes before being found in the pool. You know, already this year there have been 30 drowning incidents in the city of Phoenix. So we do have some tips from Phoenix Fire to help you and your loved ones stay safe. The first step is to use an approved barrier to separate the pool from your house. Never allow children near pools or any water source without the supervision of an adult. And that does include bathtubs, buckets, toilets, ponds, canals. Remember, it only takes two inches of water for a child to drown. Also, keep a life-saving device like a hook, a pole, a flotation device near the pool, and keep tables, chairs, tricycles, ladders away from pool fences, anything that a little one could use to climb up and over. And if you leave the pool area, you've got to take that child or children with you. The eviction moratorium is over. It officially ended at midnight, and right now nearly 12 million Americans are officially behind on the rent. That's according to the latest U.S. Census figures. The eviction moratorium, while flawed, has kept tens of millions of renters who otherwise would have lost their homes during the pandemic stably housed. But help is still available. Congress approved nearly $47 billion to pay landlords as tenants fell behind. That funding will cover up to 18 months of rent. As of June 30th, though, only $3 billion had been distributed. So that means more than $40 billion is still available. You can find details on how to apply at the U.S. Treasury Department's website. Are you worried what will happen to you or your family now that the eviction moratorium is over? There are other resources out there that can help you make ends meet. Just go to abc15.com slash rebound. We've put together guides on how to apply for that rental assistance as well as unemployment and other resources. Here is your chance to weigh in on the Broadway Curve Project on the I-10. This Wednesday, ADOT is hosting a virtual public information meeting from 5.30 to 7. Commuters can meet those running the project, get more details, and also give their feedback if you think it will impact your commute. You can register online or you can call in by phone. Information will be available in both English and Spanish. Providing heat relief to those in need. Today, United Way's Women United Group is kicking off its annual bottled water drive. They're trying to collect more than 200,000 water bottles to help those experiencing homelessness. Still very hot. We're still in the middle of summer. If you want to help, there are two drop-off locations. Bryant Commercial Real Estate, that's near 7th and Oak Street. Also, the State Farm Agency near Warner and Price. You can also just donate online wherever you are at vsuw.org. A $5 donation actually buys 40 water bottles. Looking ahead to Tuesday, Canopy Scottsdale is having a hiring fair. That hotel needs to fill nearly 20 positions and some even include sign on bonuses. You can stop by from 8 in the morning until 6 in the afternoon to apply. Canopy Scottsdale is located near Indian School and Goldwater Boulevard. Finally, local Michaela Skinner taking home silver in the women's vault at the Olympics. Skinner is from Gilbert. She replaced Simone Biles after Biles dropped out. She made the most of that opportunity too, adding another medal for Team USA and of course realizing her own dream. Congratulations, Michaela. Taking a look at your Sunday most accurate forecast, Futurecast showing us we'll stay mostly clear today in the valley with a few clouds streaming in later this afternoon. Storm chances start firing up to our north and to our east around noon, picking up more so in that dinnertime hour, but right now it's looking like Phoenix steers clear, so we're taking the rain chances out. A high of 104 today here in the valley, upper 90s, low 100s to our south, out west, the hottest spots from Yuma at 110, up through Lake Havasu City. Further inland, we're in the 80s in Prescott and Payson, but hitting 90 in Sedona and north of the rim will stay in the 70s in Flagstaff and Sholo, but warmer in Window Rock in the 80s. Back here in the valley, we're in the 90s already by 10 a.m., 99 at noon, and then hitting those triple digits for the bulk of the afternoon here before we hit that high temperature at 4 o'clock, trending down into the 90s by 8. Tomorrow, hotter still, a high of 107. We'll make it up to 110 by the middle of next week before our storm chances move back in and our temperatures 
trend down. For the latest headlines, weather and traffic, we're always updating it all on ABC15.com and also on our ABC15 app. Make it a great day. This ABC15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. Straight up.